Hey guys, Matt here with another Portals, Pearls, and Pigs card trick tutorial for you. So, I haven't taken out the cards yet from here because um, it's a brand new deck. I just got it. And so all the cards, I literally just opened the seal. So let's take it out and take these out. And we have the two bicycle things. Let's just get this off to the side. Uh, put these off to the side, we don't need them. Then we have the two jokers here. Here we go. We'll put those off to the side too. And then we have the rest of the deck here. So, I wonder how good these are going to spread. Oh yeah, they spread pretty well. So we have them all in order. Brand new deck. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to mix them up, okay? So I'm just going to mix them up. Like that, do what's a, sw a swivel cut, and we'll do two more just for. Well, no, this is good. Just one more. Oops. See the harp. This is it's really hard to do a swivel cut uh, at an odd angle, but anyway. So, however, if we look at it, these are pretty stubborn cards. As even with doing all those swivel cuts. They stayed the same, in the same position. This is the false swivel cut tutorial, triple swing false cut tutorial. And it's really powerful, it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. So yeah, without another word of that, let's just move on to the tutorial. Right guys, so the tutorial for the triple swing false cut. Now this tutorial, wow these cards are good. The false cut is used if you like, it's just used in a trick if you wish. So like if you want to navigate their card to the top and want it to stay there, you can like do whatever you want to navigate their card to the top and then you could do a triple swing false cut and it'll look like you cut the cards, but you didn't because they're all still the same. And so here's how it works. So I'm going to try and do this at this angle, it's really weird. What you're going to do is you're gonna put your, you're gonna hold the deck like this in a mechanics grip, okay? I think that's what it's called anyway. And then you're gonna use your fingers like this and using this finger, the index finger, you're gonna swing cut the cards, which by I mean just taking a little packet and pulling it over like this. Like swing it on your thumb and your finger over to this hand, okay? And then you're just gonna grab it. Wait, no, this is me. And anyway, yeah. So take about a little less than one third of the packet, so about that much, and bring it into your other hand, and hold it like this. This is the mechanic script, never mind. Okay, so you got that, and I'll show you one more time just in case. So I'll show you how it looks from above. So you swing cut, take it, then you can see it above, you swing cut, take it, about that much, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna swing cut these cards in half. So like almost in half, you see, like about there. And what you're going to do now, this is the hard part, you're going to take this packet out. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this packet on top, and, and I'll put this away just to show you. So you would have your, you would have this right here holding it, but I'll just show you this. Put this on top, release just that packet, and take the bottom packet out like that. So one more time, so you put this on top at an angle, okay? And take the bottom packet out, like that, usually between your middle finger and your uh, thumb. Or you could do it like this, this it might be a little easier with your ring finger and your thumb, and just slide it out like that. And the whole time while you're doing that, you're gonna be keeping the hold of this other packet, the top packet. So then, so here's how it'll look from here. You put that down, you see that? Then you put your fingers on the bottom packet and slide it out. So now you're holding the bottom packet and the top packet and the middle packet's right here. Okay? So just to recap, this is how it looks. So up to here, you swing cut about a third of the cards to here. You swing cut about half of the cards, drop the bottom packet on the packet you're holding in your left hand at an angle, slide the bottom packet out. Okay? So now you're here. 
Now you're going to do the swing, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hand over, put your thumb here, and then all the swing is is just swinging the pack of cards on your index finger and dropping it on top of this cards, on top of the cards of your left hand. Okay? And then the last move is the most complicated move of all. You drop the rest of the cards right on top. And if you'll see here, they're all still in the same order. So, there's how I'm gonna do it one more time slow. So you take a third of the cards, and I'm showing you like this, not like this, because this is how it'll look like when you actually do it. You take about a third of the cards and hold it in your left hand. You take swing cut half of it, put that half on top, take the bottom packet out, swing cut these cards, and drop those on top. Okay? So fast it'll look like this. Now I'm not sure if it'll work fast with these deck, but so people can do it with varying degrees of fastness. Like I use, like to do mine not that fast because I think it gives the whole effect better. It makes the whole effect look better. But yeah, that's the triple swing pulse cut, and it's really effective, really powerful. It's used in tons of moves, so you probably want to get this down if you're serious about becoming like a car magician. And yeah, I'm gonna go mess up this deck. Uh, be sure to just ah, mess that up. Be sure to subscribe. I can't talk. Be sure to subscribe to the Portals Pros and Pigs for more card tricks. Also, Minecraft stuff, Roblox stuff, Subnautica, which I just did today actually. And I'm just gonna say more. <laughs> so yeah. Subscribe more. This was the Triple Swing False Cut tutorial. Really easy once you get the hang of it. Really daunting to look at. Really awesome in performance. Just don't use it as a whole trick altogether. Just mainly just use it as a, a, a false cut. But yeah, I guess that's all that has to be said, guys. So thanks for watching.